everyone, Margot Robbie here with Rhyme Signatures, the nerdiest music review this side of springboarding off of Neighbours into superstardom, just like every other famous Australian ever. And today we're going to be doing a review of the new Aqua album, Aquarius. Hold it right there, let me take a minute of your time to explain how I feel. Through these raps, I do the best I can at be There are times in your life where you get exposed to an album, where you know that you can never be the same person ever again. You feel a fundamental shift in your personality and ideology, and everything in your world just changes focus as you realise how empty your existence was before you heard the record in question. Aquarium, the debut album by this fresh-faced, brand-new musical beat combo Aqua, who have yet to have any cultural impact on the world, are set to take on all would-be imitators with what is arguably the most spectacular release made by people to date. Make no mistake, I do not mince my words lightly here, when stacked up against the likes of Dark Side of the Moon, Selling England by the Pound, Siamese Dream, Purple Rain, Rumours, etc, etc, there can only truly be one goat, only one true king, and one champion above all others. And I'm here to tell you now that all recording artists out there might as well just give up now and throw in the towel, because Aquarium is the most comprehensive, incredible, life-changing album you will ever hear. Hailing from Denmark, Aqua are the bright, bold hope of music's future, and with the evidence on display shown on Aquarium, I predict that within the next 30 years or so, we will be affected by their music in the same fashion that the people in Bill and Ted's future were affected by Wild Stallions. So these are bold words, I know, but I've always assured you that on this channel you will only have the honest opinion from me, and on this day especially, I feel my truth ringing out louder than ever before. Consisting of the sweet and saccharine Lenin Nystrom and the gruff masculine René Diff on vocals, with Soren Rastedt and Klaus Norin on guitars, keys, bongos and backing vocals, this Danish quartet have rocked me to my core, with not only their complex and layered instrumentation, but with some of the most thought-provoking lyricism I've ever heard. The album clocks in at just shy of 41 minutes in length over 11 tracks, and in no way does it ever feel like it's dragging, or like it won't ever actually end. If anything, I feel like this could have easily been released as a double or even triple album, such as my enjoyment of this record. I would happily listen to a three-hour director's cut edition should the band ever feel like making one. There are some bona fide classics to be found on this album, with tracks like Barbie Girl, Dr. Jones, My Oh My and Roses Are Red being certain to make numerous year-end lists for best songs of the year, and even just a cursory play of the record is certain to leave a lasting impression on you. Some of these songs are guaranteed to never leave your head. In fact, I'd wager that in 20 years' time, these will still be tickling away at the back of your mind. So let's talk about the one really big thing with this album, the lyricism. It's honestly stunning how articulate and well put together the wordsmithry on Aquarium is. Take the song Dr. Jones, for example. Lenny Nystrom sings about the titular Doctor, and the passion in her delivery leads the listener on the path of discovery as she implores him to wake up. Who is this Doctor? Are they friends? Lovers? Why won't they wake up? Perhaps the Doctor is in a coma or suffering from some kind of narcolepsy. The depth of the lyricism is astonishing and really does make you think about the narrative flow of the song. Or perhaps Barbie Girl, with its socio-political commentary on feminism and gender roles within a heteronormative society. I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world. Dress me up, make it tight, I'm your dolly. It's really quite thought-provoking, and when Renee impatiently repeats come on Barbie, let's go party, you have to wonder what sort of party are they talking about. I mean, are there going to be party bags at this event? Are there games, cake, ice cream? Maybe they're talking about a political party, I don't know. The mystery and questions raised are important, and leave the listener both frustrated but fascinated by the implications and possibilities raised across its three-minute runtime. But it's not just the lyricism that works so well on this album, there's some fantastic genre hopping across the album, even within individual songs, leading me to believe that this could be interpreted as the first ever progressive Europop album ever. Look at Good Morning Sunshine, where Renee drops into a savage and jaw-dropping rap section that makes artists like even Kendrick Lamar seem amateurish in comparison. It comes out of nowhere and leaves me literally speechless with what I'm listening to. Or take perhaps the fiesta-infused Latin-inspired jams of Heat of the Night, or the intense staccato keyboard hammering of Lollipop Candyman, 
or even the intense near brutal breakdown towards the end of Turn Back Time, indicating that Aqua are a band who aren't afraid to flirt with the extremities of modern music. However you want to spin it, Aquarium is a record that manages to transcend the boundaries usually put up by this kind of music, and to describe them as just Europop feels inadequate. This is music for the soul, this is music that can change your life and help you see past the veil of societal norms. Aqua are trailblazing a shift in modern contemporary music, and we are all getting to witness the change in real time, and I've never been this thrilled to listen to an album in my entire life. So what else can I say about Aqua's Aquarium? I am very, very deadpan serious here when I say that if you have never purchased a record before in your life, then making this your first physical media purchase in your life is the best decision you could ever make, and will absolutely not come back to haunt you in any way in 30 years' time. And it will be the most positive and life-affirming choice you could make in your musical education. Honestly, this is one of those albums where you should buy physical copies of this for everyone you know, and everyone they know. You'll want to be part of history when the world wakes up and realises the true unfiltered and raw genius of Denmark's finest band. Get on the hype train, guys. Aquarium is real, and it's quite possibly the album of the century. This is all, of course, my opinion, guys, as you know, so if you have listened to Aquarium, please tell me how it changed your life in the comments down below. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, please do share it around with anyone else you think would possibly enjoy it, and as always, please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. My link tree will be left down below where you'll find all the various places to find me on social media, so please do drop me a follow if you want to see more about my exciting daily life and adventures outside of the YouTube space. But until next time, guys, as always, keep your rhyme signatures pretty dang odd.